Okay, hi everyone. Uh, uh, my name is Jonathan. Uh, this is my GitHub handle and my Twitter. So, like the previous speaker, I also attend a bootcamp at, at General Assembly and also go through a 12 weeks uh, of coding uh, of web development. So today I'm going to talk to you guys about Telegram Bot. So before that, a bit about myself. So as I mentioned, you know, I attend GAWDI in February, and I really love what I do. So I joined an uh, Asian hack hackathon in May after the course ended. So Sun Jie here is one of my teammates. Uh, there are a few of them others, uh, but they were not here. So we built a Telegram bot during this. Uh, yeah, we built a Telegram bot in the hackathon. So what did we build? We built a Telegram bot and we named it Eva. So what does Eva do, right? So Eva handles your social group chat appointments. So um, the so what why so why do we need Eva, right? So the use case is this, right? So if you have a group uh, a group chat and you have many friends with the group chat, and what happens is that let's say you decided that all right, uh, let's go out this weekend, and then you ask, okay, so who's coming for this? Uh, event or this appointment, and you know many people start to say, "No, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming." And at the end of the day, right, you do not know who is coming for the event. So you have a lot of potential issues when you are using a normal group chat to try to arrange a meetup, right? So you have someone who actually forget the details of the appointment. Like people will begin to ask, uh, "When is that? If when are we going again this weekend?" And then. You have this thing as growing hell. People try to scroll all the way up and try to find the details of the event, right? And then either that or they ask a question and no one actually replies to them of the details of the event. And in the end, because nobody actually collates who is coming, so you do not know who is coming. So we create Eva to help solve this problem. So how do we try to solve this problem? So this is where we will try to demo um, Eva. So as you can see, this is my Telegram bot. So what I have to do is, I will say that I want to create an event. So I will create an event, and it will ask when is the event going on. So, <coughs> yep. After asking for event, you ask when is the time, the time of the event. So, right. So the time of the event and where is the event located. Yeah. So, and then you ask, right, who, who is uh, coming, right? So if you're in the group chat and you are coming for the event and you want to go, you just need to do slash in so you can see some of people say, oh, no, I'm coming for this event, right? So at the end of the day, you have a bot that helps you collate who is coming and the details of the event as well. So if I were to do a slash status, at any time, Let's say you know, like if you're talking and you know the, the event details went all the way up, you could do slash status and the Eva bot will actually tell you when the details of the event and who are coming for the event. Right? At any time if you feel like you are pulling out, you can do a slash out. Slash out. <laughs> right? So and you know I'm out of the event. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I probably need that. All right, so that is the demo of the board. So, um, so yeah, so this is actually a, a proven concept that you can actually do much more thing with the Telegram board. So not only doing uh, event management, you can do many other things as well, right? We can actually integrate with the Google Calendar. Uh, we can actually have a polling feature where you can decide, you know, in a group, let's buy a present for this friend, and you have a few items A, B, C, and people can vote which present to buy, right? And maybe we can split, we are thinking about, you can split bills, you know, like you go to eat with a friend and you want to split a bill, you know, you don't, you don't want to do all the calculation, you know, you could probably take a picture and the bot can take the picture and, you know, I don't know, maybe do some OCR and you can calculate, like, whoever need to pay how much. And yeah, the sky is the limit, you can do many more other things as well. So, Today we also will try to tell you like it's actually quite easy to build the Telegram bot. So my friend here Tun Jie will like try to show you some code of how you can 
quickly build a Telegram bot in a few minutes. Yep. Okay, first, for the Telegram bot, you actually have to talk to someone, which is the almighty bot father. Okay, after which he will ask you several questions, and then he will give you this access token. So let's assume that we have already obtained, obtained this access token, and then we'll try to implement it in our application. And oh, before that, we also need to, you all need to npm install the Telegram notebook package in your applications. <coughs> Close. Okay, so for demo purpose, we have already set up uh, the applications. Okay, so how do you know whether the bot is working or not? First, we have to do a ping test. So we actually we include all the necessary packages and the controllers, and then we do a we write something like this, which includes a token, and then we follow this command, when slash pin, and we call the pin controller. So what does the pin controller do? The pin controller will return a message called pawn. So let's try with this, the pin controller. Okay. Okay, so now you see that when I pin, it actually works. So the bot is actually working now. Okay, now we continue on with the rest of the rest of the command. The next one will be we'll try to do a summation of two digits. Okay, now it returns a valid value. Okay, so how do we for the sum controller we actually have to take in the values based on the query they give in and then we do a summation from there. Okay, for the next router, the next command. Okay, for the next command we have a form. So how does form looks like? Firstly, we ask you for a name. Okay, now I ask you for age. Try inputting an invalid age. Okay, you state that it's wrong input because we the age requires an integer. <coughs> so after the validations all works, you output the name and the age. Okay. So actually, this is a source code of how we actually ask for the input. Each, each of the value has a key, and then from there we do a validation, and after that, once the, uh, once the form is run, we, then we send the message accordingly. Okay, so for the next route will be the menu. So how, so let John show the example of menu. Okay, this is a menu, but we, for demo purpose, we will show one button, and when you press exit, it asks you yes or no. So you press yes, it will return you a yes. <laughs> okay, the menu controller. Yeah. So this is how the actual uh, menu controller source code looks like. You just have to key in the necessary parameter and the return value based on the same message. Okay, for the next route, we will be doing the location. Okay, actually we hard code the value here. So no matter where you flash <laughs> slash location, you also always output the same things. But uh, yeah. <laughs> so okay. So actually it's very simple. We just a location controller. There's a send location and input according as you can see it's hard coded. Okay. So okay. Okay, the next one will be the slash in line. It's actually a, like um, a menu, but it's in line. It means it's here. So when I pr press chicken, you have a notification. Okay, so we take a look at the in line. In line mode, yeah. Yeah, so the notification is actually done at here, the text. Yeah, sure, as you need a drag through. Yeah, this one, the show alert. You need to be forced, actually, because if not, you will show some sh somewhere else. You can try it with true. Yeah, it will be something like this if you show alert true. Okay, for the last but not least, 
this is actually my personal favorite. <laughs> okay. You see, it's actually an inline query. So actually, when I call the name of the bot and I try to type in certain things, you list list of options for us. But for demo purpose, we we do a and all the animation of cats. <laughs> yeah. So when we select once, one picture, and actually upload this into the chat message. It take quite a while. You see, it's animated, so it's a cool part. <laughs> yeah. So any more? No. Okay. So actually, uh, that's all for our demo. So any <laughs> any questions? Uh, actually, we didn't do any stress test, performance test, <laughs> TDE, whatever. The, we don't do that. So, yeah. As far as you know, perfect. <laughs> okay, to be transparent, we rush out the work. Yeah. <laughs> we really do a lot of manual testing. Yeah. So, yeah. Can you get the actual location, or was it just like a demo purpose? I told you at this point. Oh, you can get actual location. But we, the document, the documentation says that we can. But I'm still trying to figure out how to actually retrieve it because it's not really in line with the SDK. I thought you can just share your location. Uh, the chat. No, I think the you can have the bot actually ask the user of their location. So let's say if it's a group in a group setting, right? Everybody has different locations, so the bot can ping. Like with a button, and then click send my location, and then you send the location to the server, and you can do uh, whichever you want to do with the location. Yep. Ask about the location, you need the Google. You send it to to produce the map. Oh, so this is this map is uh is a tele is within the Telegram. So Telegram has the function that shows the map in your chat, and uh, if you click on it, actually it will open up like. Uh, the native map on your devices. If you're using the Google API, you have to send the locations. How's it hosted? How's the bot hosted? How's the bot hosted? Okay, so now we are hosting actually locally on our machine, the one that we're demoing. Uh, but on the first one that I demoed, uh, we demoed the Eva. It's actually hosted on a uh, AWS server, so we can just have all our code written up. And then you just put it up in the server, and then you just run it up, and uh, that then the the bot will be connected to Telegram server. So, so you just run the bot, you turn on the bot, and then it, it pings to Telegram uh, bot file. Yes, uh, yes, correct. Should the commands be prevented by a slash, or can it take any form? Uh, so okay, so for how Telegram works, right? Every command. That the board will pick up is prevented, yes, by the slash. Because you know you might have other users talking other random stuff and the board might pick it up like accidentally and then do something that you, that might not be the desired result. So you can't pick up uh, let's say for you're texting something that is a keyword, then based on the keywords. Uh normally it's by the slash. Unless like for example, like the form where we show then this example where uh when the board asks the question. Right now, I can just type, and the bot can still pick it up. So you will still know that uh, that's the input that I put it. So if you use it with the form, then yes. But other than that, it's always with the flash. Can you uh, arrange multiple events at the same time with your bot, or just one? Uh, for now, we only do one. But of course, if you, if it's possible to actually have multiple events as, as well. Yep. Did I answer your question? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I was just wondering how, how it might be possible. Right, would you have a separate chat? Or would you refer the by number to this? Uh... Well, I guess if, if you have like multiple events in a single chat, right, I think that is, uh, you just got to kind of like record those events. Uh, in the chat, and then when you want to key, let's say for example, I think the only issue is to try to pull out the information of a different event, right? So you put, 
could probably just say show me all the events and you show you all the events just tap on one of it and you show you the the details of that event yep so if you have any more questions like session later or end the conversation here please uh, ask them to be jay and ask them out here thanks a lot for okay thank you